Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Lady M style green tea meal crepe cake, as requested by YouTube user Georgita Adolfo. Thanks Georgita for this request, I hope you like the video. The great thing about this cake is that you don't need an oven to make it. To start, take a small pan and over medium heat, melt 6 tablespoons of butter and brown it till it starts to smell nutty. Set it aside. In another small saucepan over medium heat, add 3 cups of milk and heat till it's steaming, but not boiling. Allow this to cool for about 10 minutes. In a mixing bowl, whisk together 6 eggs, 1 third cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. When this is combined, whisk in 1 and a half cups of cake flour. Then slowly whisk in the warm milk and brown butter and mix just until it's well combined. Be careful not to overbeat the batter. Pour the batter through a strainer to remove any lumps into a container with a spout. Cover with a lid or plastic wrap and let this rest in the fridge overnight. Let the crepe batter come to room temperature. Next, we're going to make the green tea pastry cream. Take a medium saucepan, whisk together 8 egg yolks, 3 fourths cup of sugar, 1 third cup of cornstarch, and half a teaspoon of salt. Slowly add in 4 cups of whole milk while whisking so no lumps form, and then place the saucepan over medium heat and bring to a boil whisking constantly for 7 to 10 minutes until the pastry cream thickens. Remove it from the heat and stir in 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter, 2 tablespoons of vanilla extract, and 6 tablespoons of green tea powder, i.e. matcha. Let this pastry cream cool to room temperature and cover with a lid. We're going to take a 10 inch non-stick frying pan Turn the stove on medium heat and using a pastry brush, coat the pan with butter. The butter should sizzle a bit when it hits the pan. Before cooking each crepe, mix the batter a bit to make sure it's uniformly mixed. Pour the batter into a 1 4th cup measure. Lift the pan off the fire and quickly pour the 1 4th cup of batter while simultaneously swirling the batter in the pan as you're adding the batter. Work quickly to spread the batter evenly all the way to the edges of the pan to make a circle. Continue swirling the pan and move the batter to fill the middle as evenly as possible. Once the bottom of the pan is evenly coated, place it back on medium heat. We're trying to make extra soft crepes for this cake so the cooking time is less than for usual crepes. We're only cooking the crepes for another 30 seconds or so from when you place the pan back on the fire, just until the batter is set. And we're not going to flip the crepe at all. When the batter is set, using a spatula, gently lift the crepe off the pan and transfer it to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Repeat these steps till all the batter is used up. The first crepe will absorb all the excess butter from the pan, so it might turn out a little bit soggy, but the rest of the crepes will be crisp and golden brown. Make sure you mix the batter a little before each crepe, but do not add more butter to grease the pan after the first crepe. You just need to butter the pan for the first crepe. But all the other steps are exactly the same. This recipe should make about 21 to 22 crepes total. You only need 20 crepes to make the cake, so you don't have to use that soggy first crepe. Stack the crepes on top of each other, slightly staggered, as each one gets done cooking. This will help to keep the crepes soft and prevent them from drying out. When we're done making all the crepes, set them aside to finish cooling while we work on the green tea, i.e. matcha, cream filling. Pass the green tea pastry cream through a sieve and set aside. Then in another mixing bowl, pour in 4 cups of cold heavy cream, add in 1 third cup of granulated sugar, and beat on medium speed till it's thick and billowy. Like this. It doesn't have to form stiff peaks since we're not using this as frosting. Then, gently fold this whipped cream into the green tea pastry cream till it's uniform and smooth. 
Now we're ready to assemble the cake. Take any flat surface or serving dish you like. I'm using this cake stand and place the first crepe in the center of the cake stand. As you're going through the crepes, make sure to set aside and reserve one of the better looking crepes for the final layer, which will be the top of the cake. Using a half cup measure, add half a cup of the green tea cream filling in the middle of the crepe. And using a spatula, spread it evenly towards the edges while rotating your cake stand or serving dish but stop about one fourth inch before you get to the edge. And as much as possible, try not to get any cream on the sides of the cake. This will help to create the Lady M design of not seeing cream on the outer sides of the cake. Add the subsequent crepes. As much as possible, try to add the same amount of matcha cream filling, half a cup each time, so the layers are evenly spaced, and spread it evenly, just like the first layer stopping about one fourth inch before reaching the edge. Repeat this with all 20 crepes so that there's a thin layer of green tea cream filling between each layer of crepe and finish with that last beautiful golden brown crepe on top. Then cover with a lid. We're gonna let this rest in the fridge for a minimum of two hours, preferably overnight, for the cake to set and for the crepes to soak in all that matcha cream goodness. Now make sure you leave the cake out at room temperature for at least 30 minutes before serving for the cake to soften up again. When you're ready to serve it, using a sieve, dust another one tablespoon of matcha powder onto the top layer. And there you have it, a Lady M style green tea meal crepe cake. Yum. Mmm, so good. This cake is so light, airy, and delicately infused with all of that matcha flavor. Let me know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this Lady M green tea meal crepe cake. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. Bye!